Hello, I'm Ruben with Lithionics Battery uh, here at Santa Rosa Adventure Van Expo. Wanted to show you our newest application with Storyteller Overland. We're in the Beast Mode Vandit. This is the limited edition. They only made 25. This is number 15. So what I'm going to show you is their actual power system inside of the Beast Mode. So let me take a look and I'll show you actually the install. We did a cutout of the battery system. So what I'm gonna show you is the Lithionics battery system that is gonna be found in all of Storyteller 2024 um, edition. So this one's the beast mode. This one is coming with 16.8 kilowatt hours of batteries. Uh, it's done with two battery modules. So we are calling this the GTO series. It's a 48 volt, but Lithionics adds another cell. So when I say 51 volt, it's still 48 volt, but it's a 51 volt so that we can maintain higher voltage. So this is a 51 volt uh, 165, which is easier, it's 8.4 kilowatts. They're putting two 8.4 kilowatts, so that's a total of 16.8. What does that mean? Uh, if you run an air conditioner that pulls 1,000 watts an hour, that's 16 hours of AC runtime without needing a charge. So what I'm about to show you is Lithionics' newest development. We have taken major strides in the alternator charge. So this is what we are calling the BSG, a belted starter generator. Has uh, technology that keeps it cool and efficient. So this is about 85% efficient compared to 65% with a standard dedicated alternator. What does that mean? Right now the van has started, and I'm gonna show you later on in the video of how the BSG provides 2000 watts at low idle, 840 RPMs. 2,000 watts, again, 1,000 watts AC draw, 2,000 watt charge. That means that we're powering the AC and putting 1,000 watts into the system. The nice thing about the BSG, as you know, it's already mounted to an N62 bracket, which is a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter bracket, but the regulator is built on. So there's no need uh, for another component such as wake speed or Balmar. The regulator is built on right to the back, and the harness structure is right here. Um, this is going to be basically a simple two wire connection and that's going to regulate our battery system is going to regulate the alternator charge um, So there's no need for programming. There's no troubleshooting with this one This is going to be everything integrated. So you're going to save space in your install less components say price as well But the key point of this is low idle charge while you're going down the highway and cruising you're going to go from 2000 up, 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 up to 6,000 watts of charge cruising on the highway. That means you could probably charge this system from state of charge zero. In about two hours, you're gonna have a fully charged system ready to go again. Another key ingredient to a lithium system is your battery management system. Your system is always, your overall system is always gonna be limited by your battery management system. So with Storyteller and others that are doing high voltage, even low voltage systems, we do an external battery management system. The reason why for external battery management system is because it's rated at 400 amps. Now that's 400 amps at every voltage. What does that mean? That means if it's a 12 volt system, you can put a five kilowatt inverter charger. If it's a 24 volt system, you can put a 10 kilowatt inverter charger. This again is a 48 volt system, but Lithionics calls it a 51 volt system. That means that you could put 20 kilowatts of inverters onto a single battery management system. That's unlimited inverting. All household loads, including industrial refrigerators, industrial washers and dryers, everything could be done through an external BMS. That's why it's so large. But as you see in the system, it's easier to, be, to fit in. Another key point is that this battery management system can protect up to six battery modules. This is a battery module. So you can link six battery modules to one battery management system. If you're used to doing this with regular imported batteries, you have to connect positive and negatives together and worry about terminal connectors and resistance and all that. Well, this one actually uses, well, first the BMS has its own positive and negative takeoff point. However, when you're combining modules, we have something just like this. It's a combiner box. You connect modules into the combiner box and then the BMS comes out the side. So we have up to six ports. So that's why we can have unlimited battery systems and you only have to make sure the torque is right on one positive and one negative. Now there are key features that are built with this battery management system. Everything is integrated. 
So this button here, uh, this has a built-in 10% reserve. So when the battery reaches 10%, the battery turns off. You hit the button, it turns it back on. When you deplete it down to 0%, if you don't charge it, uh, it will turn off again. You turn it back on, but you want to make sure you have a charge source. Really is, this protects you against fully depleting your battery system with two protections that's alarming you to charge. Other key features is this is where all the data comes from. So if you notice these cables, these cables are communication cables. So this is how our BMS speaks to everything. It speaks to the screen. It speaks to the solar charge controller. It speaks to the inverter. Um, it integrates into whatever panel system you want to deal with. As long as it communicates, we'll talk to it. So that is our BMS, external BMS, very high amperage, easy to module, easy to uh, add or take away or back up for your system, um, but very robust. So now I want to show you batteries that are really popular in the van builder market because of the size, but certainly powerful. So these are our internal BMS batteries. If you remember, this is an external BMS at 400 amps at all voltages, but this is an internal BMS only at 12 volts. So the batteries are built in with a BMS. So that is why you see the positive and negative terminals on top of the battery. Now what Lithionics does, we never stopped safety. Safety was our number one priority. So we build an aluminum alloy enclosure. It's crush proof and fireproof. We do not do plastic. So plastic enclosure, we have one bed that has a plastic enclosure, um, but the most popular now are gonna be our aluminum and uh, for fireproof and crush proof UL rated batteries. So this one, and yes, I'm not a monster. This is an empty demo. This is normally 60 pounds, but this is a 310 amp hour battery. That means that you can run an air conditioner for about three to five hours. Remember we did uh, kilowatt hours. So this is 4,000 kilowatt hours. Again, AC pulls 1,000 per hour, four hours. So this single battery can power an AC unit, theoretically, for four hours, depending on where you're camping. Um, and it can also power a 3,000 watt inverter. That means that yes, you can do your microwave. Yes, you can do your CPAP. Yes, you can do an induction stovetop. Yes, your wife can have her curling iron. This will power a 3000 watt inverter. This small little battery, 310 amp hours. We call this the boss battery. Very popular, was it released in 2023 and it is gaining popularity due to the space. Now, what more people are commonly aware of is what was the Revel battery and the Winnebago Revel and the Winnebago Echo. Now many people, including uh, Outside Van Custom, they were used to the 320. The blast battery was a 310. This is a 320. The reason why is look at the footprint. This again is going to be of like a 4.1 kilowatt battery. Again, producing an air conditioner, running an air conditioner for four hours, depending on where you're camping. This is gonna be more popular just because of how narrow it is. You can put it up against the wall, um, but it's, these again are always built in an aluminum alloy crush proof fireproof enclosure. The larger battery that we have here, and I'll give some shout outs to Gretsch RV, also a shout out to Nirvana. Um, they are doing a 630 amp hour battery. Yes, Jiminy Crickets, that is a lot of energy. That's 8,000 kilowatt hours. So running an air conditioner for eight hours. This is your overnight single battery option. I don't know many people that can fit 630 amp hours in a single battery case. We have done it, um, but this is the 630. So very compact, very small, one battery option. Now, something that I wanna mention about some features about the internal BMS, as well as uh, the external BMS, as well as the battery modules, those are battery modules, is they all have heater kits. So the battery management system turns the heater kit on and off. Uh, it turns on at 35, off at 40 degrees. What does that mean? That allows you to take a charge in cold weather. It allows you to discharge in cold weather. Charge is more particular, but the heater kit is autonomous. These pull about one amp per hour heater kit. So if you're camping in Colorado or a ski venture, you don't have to worry about the power or system shutting off due to cold weather. The same feature is built on both the external and internal BMS batteries. 
So you have your on off button as well as your 10% reserved and you also have your integration ports. So integration, again, integrating into panel systems, integrating into other systems like Victron, it's a single connection. You do not need a smart shunt. You do not need a low voltage battery protection. These have added features, less components, easier cabling, easier install. So this is about 130 pounds, can't you tell? 130 pounds, those are 60, the last two batteries were 60 pounds and 70 pounds, very light, very easy to install very very premium all right one small component i want to show you it's called the acr automatic combiner relay what's the point of this component this is designed to exploit the factory single stock or the factory dual stock alternator uh, so you can save the two thousand to three thousand dollars for a dedicated alternator using this component so what it's designed to do is you run the power wire to the starter battery run a power wire to the lithium battery the brain knows exactly when to connect them if the starter battery is low it won't make the connection if the starter battery is full then it will see if the lithium battery needs a charge if it does it will connect it if it doesn't it won't so it has all the safety features either way if a lithium battery needs a charge and the starter battery is full, therefore it's connecting them, every 45 minutes it's going to disconnect to cool the alternator. Charge rates. This, my customers are telling me, including our brand new customer, Nuvo, is getting 100 amps at idle and 200 amps while driving. This is only a 12 volt solution if you do not want to buy an aftermarket secondary alternator, the ACR unit. Very popular for our 12 volt customers. Very popular for those dual stock alternators. Very affordable. One of the other things I wanna show you is battery modules. So what I showed you previously, this is a battery module. We call it a battery module because it doesn't have a BMS. It only houses the lithium. So this is also another battery module, but this is only to show you we have other options. So this is called a flat pack. And so many customers are liking it because it's a five kilowatt system, runs an air conditioner for five hours, right? It's on all, all out the whole hour. Um, but this is a simple flat pack and it's stackable. So they're stacking on top and you're only changing the height. We also had released the blade. The blade you might see on our website, um, it's made for um, subfloor installs or under the chassis installs. That's only a four inch height. So that's just to let you know that we can build other dimensions uh, for battery modules, whatever space that you need. All right, so we're inside the beast. So what I'm gonna show you now, uh, I'm gonna start with the alternator charge. Uh, the whole time that we've been videoing, the van has been on. That's just so proof that it's low idle. It's on now. And you can see from the, uh, the Storyteller display, we're getting 2000 watts of charge here at low idle. You can also see how that matches the Lithionics app. If you look here, again, 2000. So we are integrating the Lithionics into the system. You're also seeing the time left to charge. Anytime you see this number not being a negative, it's charging. When that number is a negative, it's discharging more than what is charging, right? So it all just depends and I'll show you what that, how that looks. But this is the panel, this is how we integrate. This is called a multiplex panel, why? is simply because you can control your air conditioner. Let's turn on the air conditioner so we get that all ready. Here we go, AC on. Let's set this, we're at 77 degrees. We'll leave it at 72. You hear the AC kick on. You have everything mentioned here, including the fan. You have your heat, your vent. You go over to your lighting. Now you have all your controls for your lighting. You have dimmable lighting. You can dim it. You have presets. If you have your favorite lighting at night, you can preset that as well. So here is a multiplex panel showing how we integrate into the system. This is the on off button. So remember the button I mentioned about uh, storage, right? Or 10% uh, reserve. So if the battery goes 10%, this, this is gonna go away. You're gonna turn it on, reset the system here. When it goes to 0%, that's gonna turn off. You reset the system here. When you do so, make sure your alternator is running or you're connected to shore power. But this is to display one, our BSG charge to how we integrate into the multiplex panels. We also integrate into Garmin as well. So whatever panel you have, let us know. We will integrate into it. We have 14 engineers plus uh, and 
uh, we're pretty much unlimited uh, resource when it comes to engineering and what specific needs that you have. If you notice now, instead of 2,000, it's showing 1,000. Why? Because the alternator kicked on. So the BSG is charging at 2,000, 1,000 is going to the air conditioner, and 1,000 is going into the battery bank. So you can see right now I'm set up for 72, and the door is open, um, so we're all set to go. Okay, so batteries with blue with uh, battery management systems let's just face it they're not really battery management systems they're battery protection systems when you have a battery management system it's very intelligent so our battery management system reports its data through the bluetooth app and also through the cables that i showed you but i want to show you what it's reporting through the bluetooth app here you have voltage you have amperage and wattage these are the same meanings but just in amps and watts now you have the battery and battery temp. Battery is gonna be the internal cell temperature. This is confirming that your heater kit is working. This number will never drop below 35 degrees in cold weather because the heater kit is gonna keep it up. The BMS temp is right at the terminals. If you have a loose connection that creates resistance and heat, this number will shoot up. And that's how we can troubleshoot a loose connection system. This means the system is on, there's your time remaining, which matches the panel as well. Now also with our Bluetooth app, it allows us to do in-field diagnosis. If you have a system that turned off due to fault, a lot of batteries do not tell you why. Our batteries will. Our engineers can take that code and start troubleshooting. If you look at the status code, it's lit up green because everything is going fine. If this lights up red, it's gonna give you a number. You call Lithionics, we can know what that number, we type that number in and we know what you're going to see when you click this. These are boxes. If everything is green, everything is fine. If something lights up red, we're going to see it. We're going to know exactly what is going on in your system, why the system went into fault. So this is called fault indication. Battery companies normally typically do not have this. Now, let's say you have a bad toothache and the toothache is not going away or it went away. I'm going to show you something. On this page, you're going to see many different, much different information. Um, if you look at some of the, let me look for it here, last status code. If the system cleared itself, but you want to know what happened, this will let us know what the last status code is. It will also tell us the total consumed amp hours. We know how many amps the battery has produced of its life which is incredible because we can track the age of the battery let's just say that you have uh, a fault and it happens when something happens uh, when i turn on my microwave when i do whatever well the bluetooth app also has a data log feature so we're going to ask you to turn on the data log make the event happen send us the the log either text or email and then we'll start our troubleshooting from there so the bluetooth is dot bi-directional we can do programming through it it gives you all your firmware so if firmware if we want to send an update to all the lithionics batteries last one of the updates was we allow a higher temp at charge big change we'll upgrade all the lithium batteries all our ones in the field all at once it'll tell you there's an upgrade you upgrade it so it's very intelligent it's very smart yes it's a lot of information to consumers but we want to show what is happening in your system and we want to be able to diagnose any issues uh, we want to speak to it so i just want to thank you for taking this tour with me allowing me to explain some of the product i did want to make mention that lithionics battery we are in many other markets well we've been uh, in the industry leading the industry for over 13 years uh, the rv industry the van market is less than 40 percent of our space uh, the other percentages include disney universal government contracts yacht marine medical, um, industrial, work trucks. Uh, we service a lot. Of, we are even in boats floating in the Pacific detecting missile launches. So IP ratings, all of this we're doing in different markets. Um, so we build according to what our customers want. So we are who you want us to be. Customer can come to us and say, build me something specific, we'll do it. Um, our engineers are amazing. When you call the factory, you're gonna get somebody. You're going to get someone on the phone. Uh, when you get someone on the phone, you can uh, let them know who you are. 
uh, what do you need help with? You're either going to get, uh, say, we're going to contact you because we are a business to business company. We service the OEM market and we service the van builder market. However, we know there's many consumers that want um, a very premium battery system, a dependable, reliable, safe battery system. So feel free to still call us. We're going to guide you through the process. We're going to make sure you have diagrams. We're going to understand your system fully and how you're going to use the system to make sure we qualify the system for you. Um, and we're going to make sure that you're set on the path of having a system that works, that functions, and that's set up properly. So now in other OEMs, larger OEMs, uh, we have the Winnebago's, the Newmars, the Coachman's, the Jayco's, the Grand Designs. We, we have other bigger, larger OEM that we're also servicing that likes our premium product. Um, so, but, so we go OEM, we can go consumer. We're gonna guide you along the way. So it was great meeting you. Thank you again for the time and looking over our product. Hope to meet you.